I really want to hit into the thick of it. And um, it, not that we're, we're, not, we're not really doing that, but I think that, you know. Um, I feel you. You know, you know. Um, I, I think that there's a there's a topic that I touched on um, last week um, with uh, my my guest uh, Natalie Shade and Keisha. We we sat down, we spoke for about two hours and thirty minutes on you know relationships with self and and with others and you know lack of self love, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And um, you know, you and I, we we we've had plethora of conversations on, you know, uh, the art of loving self and, you know, how to, you know, truly honor the, the divine in you and what it, what does it even mean? So I think it was, first of all, very important for you to do what you just did, which was kind of like laying things down for people to understand that, first of all, you're a constant seeker, you're curious and you, you're educating yourself constantly and consistently in order to, to not be close-minded. And I think that's really something that is important instead of sticking and, 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 and staying sort of like glued to belief system that eventually, you know, don't allow you to truly experience the full potential of whatever you're trying to get, get into. And so um, now the woman that you are now, because we fast, we, we're fast forwarding a lot of things, obviously, but, you know, when you look at the woman you were, I would say five years ago, um, and the woman that you are now, and the progress that you've made in your in your own spiritual practice, making your mistakes, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, or just experiences. What is your relationship with yourself? First and foremost, how did you build the relationship with yourself to get where it is now? And what would be some of the practice you may suggest? Oh man, you know, that's a really good question because right now I am loving the shit out of me. For real wholeheartedly and even when I was coming on the live I was looking at my face like oh man I gotta you know I gotta get this together and fix my hair and all this stuff and I'm looking at myself like I'm good you know I I feel good in here in my heart I have good intentions I'm walking very heavy with spirit and I've set myself up for success by going hmm. deep within myself when I had the time last year and with me being a mother and pushing mm -hmm. through and allowing my children to come on that journey with me. Hmm. Man, like I am proud of me. I am thankful that my spirit woke up. Like, and what, what what happened for that week for that awakening? Because even though you, you, so you explained the transition from, your Christianity being a full on Christian to then having this spiritual awakening and, you know, having to deal with the anger that your soul felt every time you were exposed to this, you know, um, reading or lecture or perception of, you know, what spiritual should be according to the Western perception of it to then, you know, finding your way. Um, and, um, and then now you say that you had time last year to really sit down with yourself and, and get even more in tune with yourself. So this goes to say that it is a constant and consistent work on yourself. Yes, it never stops. Def definitely. And where I started, because I was in the grind, you know, I was doing my music. It was burning me out because I was working two jobs. And when I finally got to sit, I had no distractions. And since the tragedy came upon my family in 2007, none of us really had the time to heal. My mother was mm. working, my sister was in school, my daughter, I had to put everything and push everything back. And unfortunately, and fortunately at the same time, I learned how strong I was by not cracking in society, how strong mm. my mind was, but also mm. how weak I was when I wasn't choosing to face that, when mm. I did have a moment. So um, I would wake up in the morning and I'd say, what am I do doing today? As of March 27th of last year, what am I doing today? Hmm. And some days I would cry, some days I would write, some days, I, I mean, depression is real. And I don't, I don't find comfort in talking to 
people such as psychologists or anything like that. I feel that, I'm sorry, I'm getting some um, healing, mm -hmm. healing yourself starts with yourself and then it starts with the community that you surround yourself with you mm -hmm. can't heal yourself without surrounding yourself with people who want to see you succeed and i lost please please please, please 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 emphasize on that can you repeat that again people need to please if you have a moment take a pen and write this down I know you can replay this video and you will eventually if you like this this, this this and you see value in this content but please Nikki repeat that again. Yes, you the can't healing heal part. yourself. You cannot heal yourself until you start to heal yourself intentionally wanting to heal not just because of a circumstance or a situation I'm talking about past and present so you can get to your future and walk your path. And you can't do that alone. You need to surround yourself with people that want to see you succeed in everything. So hmm. I lost a lot of friends. They dropped to the wayside like trash. And they were trash. Hmm. 